Hello, hello, hello! Once again, it is I, Mr. Cinema Junkie, and I am here with a quick review of the movie I Am Omega. Now, I had heard many, many reviews on this movie, and all of them were bad. I mean, I must have heard at least ten different opinions, and all of them gave this movie the great big... <laughs> so, one day, in chat, I was talking to Paul, a.k.a. Summer the God, and mentioned I Am Omega... And he said, I quite liked it. Then in one of his videos, I saw that he was, he pointed it out and said that he, he enjoyed it. He didn't know why everyone was ragging on it. Usually when he says something about a movie, no matter what everyone else's opinion is, I usually take his opinion to heart because, for one, he's close to my age. And, uh, I don't know, I guess there's, there's a varying age factor there. When the younger the younger generation kind of wants the more slick and polished stuff, us older guys were easily entertained. I guess. So, I got a copy of that movie, and I watched it. Stars Mark Dacascos, if I said that right. Mr. Iron Chef himself. Martial art extraordinaire. Martial artist extraordinaire, right? And here is my summary of this movie. I also enjoyed it. I didn't think it was that terrible. Yeah, there was some stuff in there that you kind of, you know, you got to kind of make allowances for. You kind of forgive, I guess, um, little things. For instance, there's a scene where he's going through a town, sneaking through the town as to not draw the attention of the diseased and the, uh, the diseased creatures. And as he's sneaking through this town, he lets off a gun blast shooting one of them. But nothing happens, no. That noise doesn't trigger any kind of an alarm. No one comes running after him. So he finds this girl that he's supposed to be saving and gets her out of the building. As they're sneaking back through the streets, she hits a dumpster or something and a an empty bottle almost falls. He catches it and tells her, shh, because there's a group of them right there. There's a group of these creatures. That bottle breaking might trigger them and, and alert them to their presence, right? Well, one of these creatures pops out of the dumpster behind them. She keeps trying to shoot him, and he's telling her, no, don't shoot him, because the blood will get all over us. And he hands her a grenade, a friggin' grenade. The bottle was going to trigger them off, but the grenade's okay. It's just little things like that. Um, when she pulls up in the car, the car's making no noise whatsoever, but when they drive off, it's the loudest goddamn car you've ever heard in your life. Uh, and there's this redneck who keeps using the word compadre a little too much. Hey, compadre. What you doing, compadre? Listen here, compadre. Ah, that got a little old fast but bottom line not a terrible movie not nowhere near as bad as anyone has said um yes yes it is a definite ripoff if you will of movies like i am legend and omega man hence the title i am omega uh but not as strict in its rules as being like the only guy who survived and all this other stuff i mean it pulls its story pretty much straight out of i am legend but without all the polished effects and things like that. Um, I would definitely get it. I got it in a, in a four-pack. Came in four movies, paid $5 for it. Buck twenty-five a movie? Sure thing. I feel I came out ahead on that deal. Um, if I were to buy it alone, I definitely wouldn't pay more than five bucks for it. If you can find a copy of it for around five definitely grab it. Um, it's fun. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. You get to see uh, good old Mr. Mark there doing his thing with the uh, martial arts and kicking ass and using nunchucks and all that good stuff. I mean, whooping some, uh, some, well, I, you can't call them zombies. They're not zombies. They're just diseased. But, uh, 
I'm sure everyone else calls them zombies. So for lack of a better term, kicking some zombie ass that way is, is always a welcome sight. Uh, but yeah, I have to agree with Paul 100% on this one. Not the... I've seen way worse. Oh, God, I've seen way worse. And, and and bigger budgets, way bigger budgets, and they still failed immensely. Um, House House of the Dead, that just come sprung to mind. All the money they poured into that into that uh, into that movie it was terrible, absolutely terrible. This one you can tell it's a low budget movie. You go in with your expectations pretty damn low, and you're mildly surprised in the end. So it's a win win, I guess. In my in my opinion. So, yeah, definitely, if you get a chance, check it out. If you can find it, you know, at a, a dollar rental at the Red Box, or if they're showing it on Netflix Instant, which I don't know if they are or not. Um, if you have a way of watching it without spending a whole lot of money on it first, then go ahead. But uh, if you're at a Kmart or a Walmart and you see that four-pack that has I Am Omega, there's even an eight-pack for five bucks with I Am Omega on it. Um... But that many movies on a disc, you know, the compression kind of screws with the picture. So I went ahead with the four pack. There's two movies to a side. I can deal with that. Um, I may or may not do a review on one of the other movies that are on there because they are all pretty cheesy. <laughs> they they are. They reek of low budget. But uh, that's okay. That's not such a bad thing all the time. So give it a shot. It's worth it. It really is. I am Omega, starring Mark Dacascus. Um yeah, so there you have it. Thanks, guys, for watching. This is Mr. Cinema Junkie with my very humble opinion. And uh, thanks to Paul, a.k.a. Summer of the God, for the recommendation. So you guys take care. I'll be talking to you real, real soon.